All right, this is going to be a quick little demonstration video, but uh, some months back, I had the crazy idea that I was going to cover my flight test simple storage airplane in packing tape, col colored packing tape. And I, I've never done it before, but I figured it'd be a good lightweight approach. And, um, you know, once I got, and, and putting tape on an airplane to decorate it, it's one of those things when, when that first piece of tape goes on, you pretty much got to see it till the very end because you can't just full on you know, and remove it if you're not, if you don't want to do it. Otherwise, otherwise you're going to start peeling some paper up and, and start you know, causing some damage. So pretty much had to had to finish it um, after I'd already started with it. So um, so I finished it, and in the end, I just really did not did not like the way it turned out. With the tape overlapping, it caused a lot of you know unnecessary striping that I didn't really care too much for, and I did like I said just 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 wasn't happy with the with the way it turned out. So um, I asked around about it because I, I didn't know if anybody has ever tried to untape, you know, like a foam board airplane, or a, you know, like a flight test plane, and um, the responses I got were pretty much you know pretty much forget it. I mean. Um, you're going to cause more damage than what it's worth. You're going to peel a lot of paper up, and you know, better off just fly that one until you can get a new one built. You know, so uh, there's a couple people that had some had some cool had some suggestions that might help, but for the most part, a lot of what I heard was it, just, it wasn't going to happen. Might as well just build a new one. So, but I went ahead and tried it just to see what would happen, and uh, um, actually, it turned out pretty good. I'm still working on it, of course. So let me kind of show you how I've been doing this process of untaping my uh, Flight Test Simple Storage. All right, this here has kind of been the main tool I've been using. This is just a normal sealing um, uh, iron that you use for uh, the, putting the covering material, monocoat, um, ultra coat on um, you know, a lot of the balsa planes. Um, I've got it dialed up to b between low medium, so b between one and two. Is where I started with, and I've, I've kind of gradually bumped it up to about two, and two does pretty good. So, but just to kind of give you an idea of as far as what temperature to put it at. And here is the uh, simple storage wing. Uh, I haven't got much, of course, done with that side yet. Over here, of course, you can see, um, yeah, it, it got some mud on it before, but I ever uh, put tape on it. But as you can see here, I've actually remove some of it this is this section here of course did peel up some of the paper but right here you know you really can't even tell that any paper was peeled up at all um, let me flip it over here and show you some more of it and again you can kind of see through here so there's a few places where tape or where the paper has been peeled up but for the most part like I said it's been pretty good let me go ahead and demonstrate the process here and show you guys how. Uh, let me go ahead and demonstrate the process here and show you guys how it works. Okay, probably one of the hardest parts when you're actually beginning it is just finding a place to actually start with. Um, you might have to get your razor blade out to kind of get a piece, you know, picked up where you can easily get to it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with some of these pieces here, just because they've already more or less um, have some areas that I can get a hold of. Uh, first, I recommend just go ahead and get it heated up first with the iron. So, you know, just kind of either hold it in place or just rock it back and forth um, to help kind of loosen up the adhesive a little bit. Now, I would recommend more or less just testing this first on some scrap foam and some and some scrap pieces of tape because I mean not all tape is the same. So, you know, some may peel easier than others. So, let's try that. And you got to do it really slow, so you don't peel up any paper. And once you kind of get started, you can more or less just even hold the iron in place and then just pull the tape along with it. And you can kind of see how easy that is coming up. So 
so. It's kind of an awkward angle. <laughs> but. Okay, I'll stop right there for now. So as you can see, it's got a pretty good chunk lifted off, lifted up off the wing. And again, no paper has been pulled up at all. So, yeah, come up very easily. You just got to take your time and, and make sure you apply your heat and everything, and it will come out just fine. So, <laughs> and like I said, um, you know, test it with whatever tape you're using and, you know, like on a scrap piece of foam board or something, just to make sure um, it's possible that you might have to adjust your heating iron to go a little hotter. Um, it's possible you may have to, um, you know, just do something, you know, um, you know, adjust your heating iron to go a little hotter um, or maybe a little bit lighter. I don't know. So, you know, test it out on, on some scrap pieces first. So, but anyways, hope this helps.